Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to FTL, Faster Than Light. My name's Graz, bringing you another video, this time on a game you may have seen played elsewhere. This was actually featured in one of Jesse Cox's Fan Friday videos, and basically what Faster Than Light is, it's a sci-fi game where you command a ship through outer space, you're actually part of a confederate, and you're trying to take secrets and get them safely to your base from rebel ships. So here we are, this is the basic startup screen right here. As you can see, we can go ahead and rename our ship. I'm gonna go ahead and give mine something interesting. If I could spell properly, that is. All right, there we go. Our ship will be known as the Peanut Dreams. Don't even ask. Okay, so we can go down here. We can actually customize our crew if we choose from female and male. There's basically your customizing options right there. So we have Will. He will be renamed to Captain Ralph Rimmel. The peanut vendor. Once again, you may or may not know that, but it's okay. Of course, they won't say, but... Anyway, we'll just leave the rest of them the same. As you can see, here's our weapons to start off with. We really can't do much with them, so that's okay. Augmentations. So th this is a brand new game. For the most part, we're not going to be able to tweak a lot of this stuff. As you can see, I still have available achievements, and i got to unlock a few. I really haven't done much. So I've played a few games, really haven't gotten too far, and yeah, it's one of those types of deals. We can easily hide our rooms if we choose, but I like keeping my own open. It's always a good idea to keep them open, so you can see all your systems. Here's your O2 systems, which generates oxygen, of course. Your engines, which are going to help you jump your weapons, your shield which is going to keep your sh uh, ship safe, your med bay for when somebody gets hurt, your door system which has all your doors automated. If something happens to your doors then you are in a world of hurt. Sensory system which allows us to see everything in the ship. If that goes down, well, you could be in for a surprise to say the least. And there's our control, our control sector, control whatever. There's our cockpit basically where the ship gets controlled. So, there we have it. We really can't change the, sh the number of ships we have. We're stuck with the actual first one. If we complete achievements and do different parts of the questing and all, then, as you can see, we can easily unlock more ships, different ships, that type of thing. Which, unfortunately, we haven't gotten there just yet. So, we're stuck with the original spaceship, Peanut Dreams. Uh, layout, that's... Once again, something I really haven't unlocked. But anyway, let's get started. Already on normal normal difficulty, so I don't want to make this too easy. You may even see me die in this thing. So, uh, as I was saying, you're part of the Confederacy, and the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. And after a while, if you dilly-dally too much, uh, they will catch up. Tip solar flares. Solar flares will cause hull damage in addition to star starting f fires. Make sure your shields are up to help mitigate the this effect. Alright, so here we are. Outer space. Here's our ship layout. I like having one guy go into the weapons system, weapons room. Hey, go in the weapons room. You make him you do a right click and I'll send him into the weapons room. You can left click on doors to shut them so to see. Okay, Vincent, we'll send him to the engine room. Having one person in the weapons room helps weapons recharge faster, just like having one person in the engine room helps the engine charge up faster. And it also helps you avoid. So as you can see, with one guy in there, our evade is 15%. We also need to have one person in the cockpit, which is Captain Ralph Rimmel, so he can initiate the jump. Alright, so we're going to jump to our first unvisited location, and let's see how it goes. Okay, so here we are, we've gotten a Rebel Automated Ship. This will be our first battle right here. We may as well just go after it. First thing, 
I like to do, which I think is really recommended, is to pause the game by pressing the space bar. You pause it, and you set up your weapon system. You press, well, I press 1, 2 to activate them. Then you simply control them in that manner. I'll send my missiles to take out their weapon system, and I'll have my laser take out their engines. And it's a drone, so no big deal. So with that, I think everything looks pretty good. I'll take my pilot and have him go to the shield and have him take care of that. So once I press space to un unpause it, everything's going to take place. As you can see, the little red bar down there goes up. This shows how fast our weapons are charging. Once they reach full power, you'll see they'll launch. Okay, looks like I lost some power there. Might as well have my missiles go after their engine, and I don't have enough system power for the rest. Go figure. Alright, well, we almost got this ship down anyway. He lost his weapons, and he lost his engine. So, this last missile should take him out. If it hits. There we go. And, of course, for it, we get 12 scrap, which is right up here. It's basically currency. And, apparently, we had a station nearby storage site for various resources you salvage everything possible we get four fuel one drone parts and nine scrap good stuff so for the most part you journey around through space trying to get to the end of the well, I'm gonna say universe but the end of your pathway and you try to get there without getting destroyed or captured or whatnot so this is just basically what do we have here you find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels they hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Okay, so it looks like we've reached a store area. So let's see what they have for sale. The system repair drone. Huh, well this is could be very handy. Defense drone. Hmm. Well, we only have 44 scraps, so... It looks like we'll have to do with that. We'll get one repair and then one fix all. So we can fi fix the hull. Now, if the hull takes a, lo a lot of damage, then everything's done. The hull is the ship. So while you can have shields, your, your hull needs to stay intact. At least so you can get to a place that can actually repair it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I turn my auto fire on. This will actually make sure my fire gets, well, my weapons automatically get fired. I won't have to sit there and constantly press one or two. So if I just, I can mark my targets, it was constantly auto-fire on those targets. Alright, so let's go ahead and make another jump. Well, let's see, we have another distress or another store. As you can see, here come the rebels down there below. So it's getting kind of close. I don't want to go after that distress beacon because you don't know how close they're going to get. Okay, here we go. Looks like we found a Federation Scout. Okay, we have a pirate. Oh, okay, looks like he tried to hack our ship and shut down our systems. So, we'll fix him. We must go ahead and start getting geared up. Have the captain go back into the shield room. And I'm going to take out his weapons and his shield. And since auto fire is marked, I'll Pretty much should set it and forget it until his systems are taken out. I'm putting two people into actual weapon room so the weapons will charge faster. Good stuff. Okay, so we took out his shield and his weaponry. That's not going to be a problem. But now I'm, I have a fire in my oxygen room, which I'm going to have to go ahead and put out by opening the bay doors. Okay, the pirate ship's been destroyed. Engines are online again. But now I'm going to have to make sure the oxygen is quelched in that room, so the fire will go out. Alright, good. We'll go down here and shut all doors. These two little buttons down here, this one opens all doors, and this one shuts them. Now, I could easily send my guys in there to put out the fire, but they're going to take damage. So at least by having one person go in there, by having the door open, I ain't got to worry about sending someone in there and taking damage. Well, now it looks like he's taking damage anyway because there's no oxygen. Alright, well, you better go in there and get some oxygen. 
Okay, there we go. So if they take any kind of damage, we can send them right to the infirmary by right-clicking. As you can see, they get repaired. Well, they get healed real f quick. And of course, he's going to have to go back in there and hurry up. Finish fixing that. Get in there. Okay, two people fix it a lot better. There we go. Now hurry up and get back in there before you die. There we go. That was close. Didn't want to lose... Losing one person is bad enough, but if you lose two, then forget about it. So at least our oxygen system is coming back up now. Everything is slowly regenerating, as well as their health. I can go ahead and put one back on engines, and one back on weapons. And we should be good to jump. There we go, we'll go ahead and jump to the exit. And it is possible to be attacked at the exit. What do we have here? Is a black market hub. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay for them. Well, unfortunately, I do not. So, we'll have to ignore it. Then once all that's done, we can go ahead and jump to the next sector, which is located right over here. So here's your little map of the actual sectors. You have to get to this last sector over here. As you can see, we can either go to an uncharted nebula, which is the top half of the bottom part, and that could be full of Lord knows what kind of surprises. Or you can go to the NG controlled sector, which is a civilian sector, which is more peaceful. But at the same time, you don't really know what you're getting into after that because you can either go to a hostel or a nebula. But we'll go toward the civilian sector anyway. There we go. There we have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. That's good stuff. Alright, so we can go ahead and hop right to a store once we're here. Uh, that's always good to do. Your scrap ours. Our weapons for you. Okay, so... They got some pretty nice weapons. Too bad I don't have enough to buy anything. At least I can get my hull fixed. And I can get some fuel. So for three scrap, I can get six fuel, which should give me give me a decent way. Alright, well this is the ship menu. It's the little button right next to the jump. We bring this up, we can actually upgrade certain parts of the ship. As you can see, we have different things from shields, engines, to oxygen and whatnot. So you can upgrade your shield. As you can see right here, powers your shield. Every shield can block one incoming shot. Upgrading increases bar count. So they want 20 scrap per basically to get the next upgrade. Doesn't look like it's a real... Doesn't give you a lot of bars. Weapons... This is 35 scrap, don't have enough. Oxygen... Not too much. We could get oxygen. The rate of refill, so it basically makes it faster. Same thing with healing, you heal faster. If you upgrade the engine, your ship can, okay, dodge faster, or you dodge better. And I guess it takes less time to jump. Oh, okay, so piloting gives you... Allows upgrading adds auto okay autopilot that allows some evasion even without a pilot. That may not be a bad idea. Reveals interior of ship. Oh, okay, so for 25 you can actually reveal the interior. Very nice. Door system blast doors. To impede fire spread and intruder movement. So there's some pretty decent upgrades right there, and of course we can always upgrade our reactor. Which may not be a bad idea right about now. So, for all those stuff, we'll actually need to ha have an upgraded reactor, and we'll just do that, and continue on our, our way. Now, what do we have over here? We follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help. Our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Alright, well, we'll shield them with our ship and escort them out of the field. Despite your best, best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart. You are barely able to break out of the asteroid field. Ugh. 
We got 14 scrap, but our hull took damage. And that sucks. Okay, the, the rebels are coming, but maybe we can jump back to the store and get something useful. Okay, what can we get from them? Anything, automatic reloader, we can't get. Long range scatters, we really can't get. Well, I guess we can re repair the hull. Alright, well this is the unfortunate thing about this game, is that sometimes you'll have special events where you'll get a notice that says, you know, so-and-so spaceship needs help, or there's a space station in need, can you go ahead and assist them? So I went ahead and tried to assist the uh, space station to find out they had overgrown spider problem. Well, that overgrown spider problem just took my captain out, and now I'm stuck with two members of the ship. As if piloting three in his total ship wasn't hard enough, now I'm stuck with two. Now I did get enough scrap to upgrade my shield, which is always a good thing because anytime you have combat, you're gonna you're gonna need all the defense you can get. Now I just wish I could have had some help with piloting and everything else. Okay, so we're gonna take out this little ship right here, this little pirate ship. This dude wants to go ahead and make a scene of things. So I'm just going to shift everybody over to a new station. I'm going to have him take out their weapon system. And I guess that's all I'm going to do because I don't have enough power. Oh, okay. This lovely. We have an intruder in the health bay. Take him out. Most depressing. There we go. We'll try to get some air in it. Just in case I don't want no fires to take out my... Yeah, see? There's a cracked hole. That's going to be a bit of a problem. And now that's probably going to be on fire, so I should probably put that out too. And things aren't looking too good. This is why I don't like working with a two-man crew. I'm getting lit up fairly well. Yeah, and they're, I'm not even doing any damage to them. Oh, crap. Yeah, you should probably get in there and do some work on the missiles. Thank you. Yeah, my hull is looking pretty weak right about now. And... Oh wow, I think I've actually done some damage to them. Alright, so at least auto fire set up and it should be taking out their weapon system relatively soon. At least with the doors open, it puts out all the fires nice and easy. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage to take these guys out. This is pretty bad. I can't jump because my engine's damaged. I have no oxygen, and yeah, this is bad. Oxygen, four, three, shut the doors, shut the doors. Yeah, this is not going to end well. We have no oxygen, they're not going to repair it fast enough. And it looks like the ship is going to go ahead and drift aimlessly into space. So anyway, that's going to do it for FTL, Faster Than Light. I hope you enjoyed the quick experience. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment area. I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, have yourself a wonderful day. And if not, then just fake it. I'll see you again next time.